What's going on, Falcon fan? This is your boy Rakundu coming back at you with another video. So today we're going to talk about the release of Marcus Mariota from the Atlanta Falcons and the press conference interview for Terry Fontenot, the Atlanta Falcons general manager at the NFL Scouting Combine today. So guys, if you have not already, go ahead and please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the notification bell so you know I drop another video. Please hit the like button so I know you guys like it. Hear what I talk about, then please share my video throughout the YouTube universe so more people can actually come in and hear me talk about these Atlanta Falcons. So, like I said, guys, to nobody um surprise, Marcus Mariota was actually released from um from the Atlanta Falcons today, clearing up $12 million in cap space. Um, like I said, I don't think anyone was actually surprised about this move from the Atlanta Falcons. Consider how it ended last year with Marcus Mariota by him being benched and then deciding to go get surgery on his knee um, and being away from the team for the remaining four games. I think all of us felt like it was a, a, a weak move for him to do that. Could have definitely stayed there to you know help groom a guy like Desmond Ritter, you know, just being a team player. But instead, he decided to go, you know take care of his things he had to take care of. And that's why I believe that it was an easy decision for the Atlanta Falcons to go ahead and move on from a guy like Marcus Mariota. With that move, they actually was able to, like I said, recoup $12 million, put in their salary cap. Um, currently, look according to over the cap at $66 million, $765,855. So about $67 million that the Atlanta Falcons have to utilize this offseason to sign their own players and that's currently on the roster, some extensions guys that was in, in the uh, locker room last year, then bring in some other guys um, that we definitely feel that can help this team. This That's really the, the big the big thing that this deal, this uh, move really did for us. It was more cap space to actually build this team up. With that move, also, it, it leaves two young quarterbacks in the room. So, Terry Fontenot did mention that he's definitely going to be bringing in a quarterback. He mentioned draft, trade, with all kind of things. He mentioned everything is on the table. He would not really name Des Ritter as the starting quarterback, which is understandable. He only played four games. You want him to be able to earn it. But if they do bring in a veteran quarterback, I feel that the veteran quarterback they bring in is going to be somebody there that's – could could definitely push Des Ritter, you know, for that starting role, but at the same time be willing to come in and be a great backup to Des Ritter to teach him how to be a pro. So um, those are the, some of the things. Some of the names that was out there, Tyler Haneke, guy like that, um, Jacoby Set is definitely a guy that a lot of people is mentioning that could definitely come in and play for the Atlanta Falcons that could really really push Des Ritter as well. So um, just have to be on the lookout for that. We heard from the Titus GM. Um, Ryan Tannehill is not going anywhere, so he's off the table. We, I don't want to hear nothing about Derek Carr, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, none of those guys. So um, whatever we do, whatever um, veteran we bring in, somebody that can actually come in and help this team be a good pro, knowing that more than likely they're probably going to be a backup if the Atlanta Falcons don't go out and do something crazy like a trade or pull a court, another young quarterback in the draft. So that's what he's had to say about the quarterbacks. Um, he was also asked about other positions on the team, just like, you know, the cliche answer that they looking all through every um, position, trying to, you know, get every position better, the running back position, of course. Um, he asked about the defensive front, pass rush. That has always been a sticking point for Atlanta Falcons because of, um, since John Abraham, we have not had a steady pass rusher. Yes, Big Beasley, Big Big Beasley did have one of those um, big seasons for us, but for the most part, we have not had sustained pass rush for for years. So that's one of the things that definitely this team need to focus on. However, he did mention, which is which is true, um, the whole defense have to be worked on, and that includes the secondary. The secondary is very big. It's specifically about the nickel position, bringing somebody in to fill that, which is, you know, 
but Allen Purpose really is a starter for for any team because they play so many snaps in nickel. So um, whoever that cornerback they need to bring in, we need to be able to bring in somebody to go alongside our two corners that's going to be on the side. Somebody can actually come in and play multiple roles, being able to guard different types of receivers in the middle, tight ends, things like that. That's going to be in that slot position, running backs, so on and so forth. So those are the kind of things we definitely need to be looking at from a nickel position. But to his point, you have to fix the back end because the, the less, the more time the quarterback has to hold the ball because the receiver is not able to get open, the easier it is for the pass rush to get home and wreak havoc. So it really, really go hand in hand. Um, but, you know, looking at our roster, we definitely going to make moves and bringing another pass rusher in, not just on the outside, but in the inside as well, which I think is really um, what they really should be focused on the interior because if they can stop the run, get in long, long, third and longs and things like that, it definitely help us out. Um, The last thing we talk about is just he um, was asked about, you know, what kind of players they're looking for. Um, like, I, like, like I mentioned, talked about quarterback, running back, pass rush. Didn't really talk about receivers. I think that's really one of the biggest things they really need to focus on as well. Um, there was not asked about receivers, but I believe that that's one of the positions they really need to hone on, hone on as well is the receiver position. Talked about Georgia players. So a lot of players in Georgia, which is always good for t- guys to come back and play for their home team. You know, they, you know, even though they did not play at this University of Georgia, which Georgia had like 12 guys to say to come by. So definitely you can pull guys from Georgia. But just other players that played in other um, institutions as well that lives in Georgia, that's from Georgia, that might want to come back and play for the home team. That's always a good thing because guys come back and represent their home. You want those guys hungry because, you know, they're going to try to represent the right way. All right. So, guys, that's all I have today. Let me know what you think about a guy like Mark Mario to being released. Do you think he actually a find a home? I know one thing he definitely can have to explain um, what happened in Atlanta, why he was um, decided to just leave the team all of a sudden, you know, being a bad sport. And let me know what you think about Terry Fontenot interview. It's out there. He kind of did a, a, um, a, a media tour today talking to a lot of different peoples about the Atlanta Falcons. So those, all those videos out there on YouTube, if you want to go out and look at them, let me know your thoughts about what Terry Fontenot had to say. Um, this is your boy Rikundu coming back at you with another quick video. Peace.